Hello, all my dear Virgo friends. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your forecast for February 2022. I have to say that in order to create that neural pathway. I've got it right here, and I'm going to share it with you in just a second. Um, before we do that, though, I want to respond to all of you who have over the years asked me to please teach you astrology. Um, I want to tell you I've got major plans in the works with Mercury and Venus, both being retrograde or both having been retrograde. Um, well, I don't have to tell you what's been going on. It's been going on in your life as well. What I am going to tell you right now, though, is that I'm still mentoring people one-on-one, uh, -on -one, face to face on Zoom. You and what I've seen is that everybody has their own schedule. And this means that if you are a practicing astrologer and you just need a, co a couple of questions answered, um, or if you are an intermediate student and you uh, would like to take classes, maybe two of them every month um, in order to fit it into your schedule. If you are a mommy with a bunch of kids, uh, you have no time. You, <laughs> I know you have no time, but uh, you want to make time, we will do that. So if you are interested in studying astrology with me, uh, in more than just, here, I'll send you a video, watch it, but face-to-face -face with me, asking me questions, me answering, of course, um, go to my website, maxinetaylor.com. It's all there. And uh, drop me an email. And I will we'll talk. We'll set it up for you, okay? So let's look at this fabulous forecast that we've got going on here for you. First of all, we know that Mercury has been retrograde. Um, everybody's been feeling it. And of course, Venus was also retrograde. It was the tag team time, of course. Mercury is going to go direct on the fourth. Uh, today, um, let's see, today is January 30th. And so just a few days and we will be out of the retrograde Mercury. However, Mercury will move into the shadow of the retrograde until the 24th. And the shadow feels just like the retrograde, but it gives you an opportunity, I think, to tie up the loose ends of unfinished projects that you didn't do, that you plan to do uh, when Mercury was retrograde. This is a wonderful detail. And I know how Virgo is about details. This is you crossing the T's and dotting the I's. It's wonderful. So, Hold that thought. Venus is still in the shadow of the retrograde, so it's still the tag team. Venus moves out of the shadow March 1st. So we still got a little of that tag team going on. Just hang in there and go through it. So let's talk about Mercury. It's in your fifth house of fun and games. It um, deals with children when it's in the fifth house. Um, it deals with fun, fun and games. I love it. On the 14th, that moves into your sixth house, which is your natural house in the natural zodiac. And you are getting down to business, crossing those T's and dotting those I's. Mercury is what we think about and talk about. It's not what we do. It's what we think, how we look at things. So let's go back to this fifth house. And this indicates you're rethinking relationships with kids. Uh, maybe somebody very special, no longer talking about kids, because we have Venus and Mars in that fifth house of fun and games. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Venus is love and beauty and joy. And wherever it is, it brings love, beauty, joy, even money. And so it wants to play. Mars is what we fight with. It's what we make number one in our lives. It's um, what we'll fight for and fight with. Well, you take Venus, love, and Mars, passion, and put them together, which they are, 
on the 13th, 14th, and 15th, they are conjunct. They are in the same degree of the zodiac. Valentine's Day is on the 14th, isn't it? And so this is love and passion. And um, it, in the fifth house, can mean a terrific social life for those few days. It uh, doesn't mean the, your love life will drop off after that. But it, it, I'm going to suggest that you celebrate Valentine's Day this year. Now, this involves children, too. And so you may find if you're a grandma or a grandpa, uh, you're, you're loving spending that time with your grandson or granddaughter or multiples. Um, it's simply a time to have fun. And I'm saying, do it, do it, do it. Okay, so Mercury then moves into your sixth house on the 14th, where you're thinking about your health, you're thinking about your job, and the sun, the center of our solar system, the center of our lives, there it is in that sixth house, and it is the giver of life. What it does is it helps you at work, it helps you with your health. This is just beautiful. The sun is going to move into your seventh house of partnership on the 18th, and it's interaction, partnership, whether it's a business relationship, a personal relationship. Uh, if you're very well known, it can bring you before the public. The seventh house is the public. Oh my goodness, but all of your relationships light up. And I'm saying, go for it. It's terrific, especially since Jupiter, the greater benefic is there blessing you in all of your relationships. Venus is the lesser benefic. There's nothing lesser about it. It's gorgeous. Jupiter is joy. It is um, truth. It is joviality. It is generosity. And so wherever Jupiter is, it expands. So if there's nobody special in your life after the 18th, Get out there and find them or allow them to find you. That's just what she wrote. It is terrific. Now we have a new moon on the 1st, February 1st, in 12 Aquarius. Find 12 Aquarius in your birth chart. And this is where the energy starts moving forward in the area of work, health, and service. Um, with all of this activity with others, it's no surprise that two weeks after the new moon, we have a full moon in your 12th house of behind the scenes activities that says, go away world. I need my solitude and privacy. And so the full moon on the 16th is in 28 Leo. I suggest that you look at your birth chart and find 12 Aquarius, as well as 28 Leo. Combine it with what I've just shared with you, and you will have the total picture. And so, my dear friends, till we meet again next month, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.